Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderful today. I am the Portfolio Panda, and my job is to try and create transparency in the financial world. Today I'm looking at Brainchip, a company I doubt I will be able to understand completely, but let's see if we can crack it open and learn something along the way. Brainchip Holdings Limited is engaged in neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic computing is a branch of artificial intelligence that simulates the functionality of the human neuron. The company has developed a spiking neural network technology, a type of neuromorphic computing that learns autonomously, evolves, and associates information just like the human brain. If you think it sounds like the plot to an 80s sci-fi apocalypse movie, you're probably right. This technology is very new and has the potential to change the world forever, be it for the better or for the worse. Maybe the robots will be programmed not to kill their shareholders, who knows? At least they aren't going to try and put an actual chip in my brain like the name may suggest, that I am thankful for. It's a chip that mimics a brain, not a brain receiving a chip. Headquartered in Sydney in Australia, they also have offices in the USA, France and India and their products are served worldwide. But what are the company's products and what do they do? The Akita Processor. This is a neuromorphic processor. Akita mimics the human brain to analyze only essential sensor inputs at the point of acquisition. Let's take this shot of a man crossing the road as an example. Instead of having to process everything in this picture, the cars, the houses, the street lights, the processor can look at this and understand that the key focus for this clip is a man crossing the road and mostly disregard the rest, saving on computing power. Much like our human brain would do. Keeping machine learning local to the chip, independent of the cloud, also reduces latency while having less risk of privacy and data security. This also provides some comfort in knowing if one of them was to go rogue and decide to destroy humanity, at least they couldn't upload this sentiment to all of the robots and overthrow us that easily, or at least I hope not. This is such a simplified version of what the chip is, but we would be here for days if we wanted to cover everything. A few use examples can be object detection and grading, facial recognition, vibrational analysis, and basically anything people can imagine. I found this video where they use a kid to taste different wines, which I found to be pretty funny. Recently, Brainchip has introduced a second generation Akita platform. The second generation of Akita now includes temporal event based neural net spatial temporal convolutions that supercharge the processing of raw time continuous streaming data. This includes video analytics, target tracking, audio classification, analysis of MRI and CT scans for vital signs prediction, and time series analytics used in forecasting, and predictive maintenance. MetaTF. MetaTF is used for the creation, training, and testing of neural networks. MetaTF supports the development of systems for edge AI. This is the software that makes the Akita run. It uses the Python programming language along with some additional packages. Unless you are a computer programmer, this can be confusing how it all comes together. I don't really understand how it all works, but it looks like the basic premise is Akita is the hardware and MetaTF is the software. Please correct me in the comments section if this is incorrect. How do they make money? There are four paths of revenue for Brainchip. Sale of the IP, royalties from the products, design, sale of the chips and engineering support. At this time, licensing revenue currently seems to make up the bulk of this. Who's in charge? Looking at the people in charge of the company, I don't want to give you a life story of a bunch of people. That's not fun to watch. I look out for people that are heavily involved that look out of place, have irrelevant experience or seem dodgy. I can't see anything that stands out for the team here. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read further into it. Looking to the future, Brainchip announced recently a partnership with Emotion 3D to demonstrate in carbon analysis to try and make AI-based image analysis in real time. This may be a good opportunity to show off Brainchip's technology in a real-world use. Brainchip also indicated that it would raise additional capital. Continued dilution and the very high share count will likely remain an issue for investors to deal with until the company can turn cash flow positive. As AI becomes more and more a part of our daily lives, there are opportunities for Brainchip to succeed. It may take several years, if at all, for Brainchip to break even unless they start ramping up their revenue. Some of the risks are future problems. Many investors got in at 3 or 5 cents per share on the Australian exchange in 2020. The risk of retail profit taking is fairly high on a stock with a public float of over 1 billion shares. Social media has also gripped Brainchip before. Meme stock syndrome, a phrase I'm now inventing, has plagued Brainchip in the past with people pumping money into the stock because of posts from Reddit rather than any fundamental analysis. There is always the risk of a major competitor arising and taking the market share from Brainchip. Technology is really difficult to keep to yourself for a long time and if someone can take that technology and recreate it with ease, then all your research and development cost has been for nothing. Your company paid for the hard work and everyone else ends up benefiting from it. Brainchip is a really interesting company and it's anyone's guess what the future holds for them. I hope they succeed and help to provide some great services for society as a whole. I don't look at companies to try and buy and sell for a quick profit. I try to study companies that I could see being around and prospering in 10 years as Brainchip one of them. Who knows but it's a fun story nonetheless. Links are in the description for the source videos. As usual let me know any questions in the comments below and make sure to share this with your least financially savvy friend then tell me if I did okay at explaining the topic. Your most valuable asset is your time. Thank you for sharing yours with me. Until next time.